So this is how to drastically improve your playing in Fortnite step by step. Alright guys, the first thing I want to show you is filter keys right here. So let me show you first how to download it, then I'm gonna get to the best settings for it. A lot of people claim that it does reduce your latency, but I'm not sure about that. And in my opinion, I think it's a placebo, but it just doesn't hurt you to try. So the first thing to do right now guys is open up your Google and go over here on the search tab and just type in filter keys download. It should be the first thing right here. Alright guys, I just want to state that this is not gonna ban you this is not bannable but me personally i just think it's a placebo so the first thing to do right now is go over here scroll down and uh select the filter keys this is probably the latest one make sure you select zip so just click on that and it should take you long to actually download it so once you guys have downloaded what you need to do is just open this up right now and you should be redirected right here so now the best settings I've seen a lot of people use is that ignore under should be on zero, repeat delay should be on 130 ms, and a repeat rate should be on 20. Now, what you need to do is just copy these settings right here and uh, just click on OK, and that should be it, guys. But there's actually another method that I want to show you, which is a little bit more complicated. So, what you need to do is go over here on the search icon and just type in registry editor. So, what you need to do right now, guys, is uh, open up h key current user and which is right here so open up h key current user and go over here on control panel and the next thing you need to do right now is just go to accessibility and uh, keyboard response so this is where i'll give you guys a couple of commands that you guys need to put in and again i'm not sure if, it's, if this will actually works but go ahead and give it a try all right guys the next thing we need to do right now is update your network adapters so what you need to do is go over here on the search icon and just type in device manager okay guys so let me just expand this real quick for you guys just so you guys could see better i know this looks complicated but what you need to do right now is go ahead on network adapters and just expand this so now what you need to do is find your network adapter for me it's a realtek pcie gb family controller and what you need to do is just right click on it and just click on update driver so what you need to do right now is just search automatically for the best drivers so as you guys can see the best drivers for me are already installed Alright guys, the next thing you want to do right now is change your DNS server. So this has actually been approved by Epic Games themselves. And uh, let me show you how to actually change your DNS server for the maximum amount of performance. So it's pretty simple. And what you need to do is go over here on the search icon and just type in view network connections. And it should be right up here. So as again, locate your ethernet cable. For me, it's this one. And what you need to do right now is just right click on it and go to properties. And the first thing we need to do right now is again locate internet protocol version 4 or ipv4 and make sure that this is ticked and once you guys have done that what you need to do is go over here on properties and this is where you guys actually change your dns server so there's actually two recommended dns servers which are cloudfares which cloudfares uh, dns server is 1.1.1.1 and right here is 1.0.0.1 but for me i think google's uh, DNS works the best for me. So what you need to do right now is go over here and uh, use the following DNS server address and just type in 8.8.8.8 and down here just type in 8.8.4.4. So this is Google's DNS server. So if you guys want to know which one works the best for you, I already been using this one. So I'm just going to click on OK. So what you need to do is uh, open up your CMD or command prompt. And what you need to do right now, guys, is type in ping, or up in lowercase, type in ping and type the uh, current, my current uh, DNS server. For me, it's 8.8.8.8. Uh, and as you guys can see, it's pretty much the analytics. And you guys decide which one you want to use. Now, to change your DNS server on console, I will play two videos right now for Xbox and PlayStation on how to actually change your DNS server. And again, use 8.8.8. Point eight point eight point four point four settings. Once you're here, I want you to select DNS settings, and then rather than automatic, we're going to go to manual. Then go to set up internet connection. Now choose your currently connected internet. So I'm connected by a Wi-Fi. I'm going to press options on this, and then go to advanced settings. Now under here, go to your primary and secondary DNS. And now another thing that I don't want to forget is flushing your DNS cache. What you need to do is open up your CMD again. And what you need to do right now is just type in IP config dash flush DNS. This is completely safe, guys. So don't worry. It's not going to harm your PC whatsoever. 
Alright guys, so we do have a couple of Epic Games settings that I actually want to show you. So what you need to do is open up your Epic Games launcher and go over here on your profile. Then go over here on settings and scroll down until you see throttle downloads. Make sure that this is unticked. And once you guys have done that, what you need to do is go over here on library and locate Fortnite for me it's right here. Click on the three dots and what you need to do right now is just go to option. What you guys need to do right now is make sure you uncheck anything you guys don't use for me personally i you i don't use save the world so i uncheck this direct x 12 shaders i uncheck this also pre down stream uh pre downloads stream assets i also uncheck this because for me it's pretty unnecessary and it just like cost me a lot of space another pretty cool application application i found on the internet is honda.gg so in my opinion this is a big game changer because as you guys can see there's a lot of stuff right here that you can uncheck that is constantly running in your background and uh, you can uncheck for the best amount of performance. Alright guys so here's some pretty cool comments I want to show you as well. So what you need to do is hold your windows button and R and just type in percent local app data percent and click on ok so locate APGAMS launcher and give that a click. So go over here on save, go over here on config and windows. So one thing I want to say is that this is completely legit this is not something that's gonna harm your pc or get you banned or whatever you guys might think it could happen to your pc so go over here on engine.ini and click over here on notepad what you need to do right now is just simply delete this and i have a pretty cool command in the description i'll give you so go ahead and click on control plus v and that should be it now make sure you're running your epic games launcher and go over here and just type in task manager Go over here on process and locate Epic Games Launcher, which is right here. So extend that here on details and make sure you click on the Epic Games Launcher.exe and set your priority from uh, normal to high. And what you guys need to do right now is just simply click change priority and that should be it. Alright guys, hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial made for you guys. And uh, if you guys are interested in more ping and FPS boost related type of content, I have plenty of those in my YouTube channel. So go ahead and give them a shout out. So, so it's been your boy Chopper and as always, peace out and see you guys next time.